Hi, Nick Pushak here. We're going to analyze the new Tesla self-driving demonstration video. What I've done is I've taken the center video that was on the right, which is uh, the front-facing camera, the medium-range camera. There's three cameras facing front on the new Teslas, and I've enlarged it since it has the most valuable information in it. The uh, two other videos on the top and the bottom on the right were the rear-facing cameras and I really didn't see too much use in those. So we're going to look at the front-facing camera. Now to level set everything here, uh, we have a variety of different icons. Blue icons are objects uh, that the system is identifying. Uh, the green uh, objects are the objects within its path, which it probably is most concerned about. So here we're uh, facing a cross street and uh, we have a truck crossing in front of us and uh, it clearly identifies it as a uh, object in our path. Once it passes it will probably go blue. Now also notice down <clears throat> along the road we see a mesh which is a combination of the uh, um, flow, road flow uh, vertical lines and the motion flow uh, horizontal lines creating a mesh on the road letting us know that this is a road surface with cross traffic. Uh, and we're going to continue here. As we allow the truck to pass, we'll make the left turn, and then all of a sudden we see a truck on the right. Notice it identifies it as uh, green, so it's in our path. So I guess the car needs to know to turn left further. Then we'll come to a uh, intersection. Uh, notice we have one car on the right identified in our path uh, and then some objects on the left. Now notice we have two new lines on the road. Uh, we have a red line which is our left um, uh, road lane and then we have a purple line which is a uh, right, our right road lane. Again we have a mesh in our road surface which identifies cross traffic because we're at an intersection don't know exactly how it knew to stop at this intersection. Maybe it's just the cross traffic that it stopped at. We'll let it continue here. So we make a left turn and we're going down a street. Now again we can see that we have the left uh, lane indicator red and the pink indicator right. Uh, the left indicator uh, is the markings on the road the right uh, lane indicator is uh, just probably the curb, which it identifies. Also notice that the road surface now is just the vertical road flow, uh, and as we approach an intersection, you'll see the road surface turn to a mesh because the motion flow uh, crosses uh, us. So we'll continue here. We see some objects uh, continuing uh, through here, identifying, and uh, let's see how far we go, and we're picking up objects on both sides, and we're coming to a intersection. Now here notice the yellow uh, indicators are identifying uh, lights on, at the intersection. We can see that the light is green in the above video and the uh, yellow uh, rectangle, tall rectangle, probably can identify that it's green because uh, that it's the lower light that's illuminated. Um, the uh, car that was in front of us that has been uh, identified as green is turning in front of us and then I think we're also going to uh, see that the um, uh, traffic uh, on the other side of the road coming at us will also be identified as green. So it's initially blue, but then as we start making the turn, it identifies it as green. But uh, it does seem to cut in front of that car. Uh, I don't know whether that car had the right of way or not, but it sure seemed like it would have. As we continue to the next uh, intersection here, uh, notice we've got uh, Three cars identified as blue, which are just objects, and then the car in front of us, which is in our path, the car uh, identified with green. 
We'll go through this intersection, which is also uh, identified with the yellow indicators, um, and it is a green light, so we can go through. We'll go down this intersection, and we start seeing um, the road signs identified uh, in purple. So the to the right, we see a curve road ahead uh, road sign, which it is identified as purple. We're going to see stop signs also identified in purple, which are various road signs. Um, it picks up little purple signs. Uh, here's another one, uh, bicycle crossing. Uh, I don't know how many of these it actually can understand and interpret, uh, but uh, it does pick up a lot of purple signs. So it's coming to a stop sign here that identifies it uh, on the right as purple. We have a car cutting in front of us, which is identified as in our object that'll turn blue as it passes, and so far the car on the right is still not uh, in our path, but it will become in our path. Now this is really interesting. A bicycler came down the right and cut in front of us, and it quickly identified uh, the bicycler uh, and uh, did not run over the bicycler. Uh, it passes by, another car comes in front, we stop at the stop sign and then turn left. We'll go down this road for a while now, I believe. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Uh, little objects identified from time to time. Here's a road sign uh, coming up, uh, pedestrian crossing uh, in purple. Um, notice it also identifies the other road sign in purple. It might be the shape of the uh, the sign that it identifies. Um, and there it gets another road sign, lots of object, blue objects. Again, the uh, red line and the uh, purple line on the road. Also, the road surface is just the uh, um, road flow, uh, vertical lines, not the cross mesh. Uh, I'll see if I can stop near Okay, so notice here as we come into this intersection, the road surface turns into a mesh, which means that there's a motion flow um, or uh, potential uh, cross traffic uh, in that road surface. Come to another stop sign, it sees an object, uh, but it makes the turn, goes down the road, various objects identifying and picking up a uh, car on the right uh, that it worried about. Another car cutting in front of us, it slows down, finds the um, stop sign and then another sign on the cross the street. I think we're going to make a right here, road surface turn to mesh, cross traffic. And then we come through here, road signs, our objects. Um, not much going on here. I think we have some pedestrians coming up, uh, walking. I might have stopped there or slowed down for some reason. And driving through a nice little county road. And different objects being identified. Somewhere along here. Okay, there's uh, two joggers. One is in our path uh, closest to us, and the other one is blue. Uh, and I believe the car stops here uh, or hesitates. Yep, stops and then continues on because it thought that uh, person was too close to it. Some road signs. Uh, it's interesting going through some uh, work uh, area. Uh, made it through pretty cleanly. May have slowed down, tough to tell. And we stopped here for, uh, looks like it hesitated, uh, must have identified something in, its, in our path there. I guess those cars uh, might have just been a little too close. And we'll continue down this road. It 
identified that road speed limit road sign. You can see how fast it can identify these objects. The new computer is 40 times faster than the uh, previous one, so they have a lot of compute power to do all of these analysis. Probably can do much more better analysis than the human can do. Um, and we'll let it continue. Stop sign identified as purple uh, and uh, some other road signs that it's starting to identify. Um, goes through the intersection. Looks like I might have missed that speed limit sign there. Identifying objects in blue and road signs in um, purple. Occasionally you'll see a a driveway which it will identify with uh, potential traffic here. You can see the uh, horizontal lines come up uh, pretty dramatically there uh, because we came to an intersection. We have a uh, car in our uh, path that's going to turn in front of us. Uh, we're going to probably be making a right turn. We wait for the car, one car to pass. Would be, have it, it would have been nice to have the uh, side videos to see how it analyzes the cross traffic. But uh, we really just got the front and the rear videos cameras in this uh, demo video that Tesla released. Should be approaching uh, Tesla's offices soon. Cars cut in front of us um, and we're waiting our turn to make a left. Might have cut in front of that car there, tough to tell. And we're pulling into a turn, turning lane, coming into the office here. And uh, decides to stop here, uh, slows down for some uh, pedestrian traffic, and then the gentleman gets out of the car and uh, I believe it's uh, programmed to self-park. So it waits uh, a good amount of time here, probably because of the various pedestrian traffic. Uh, and then there, I think there's one more person coming by, and then it starts up. It actually uh, starts up a little sooner than I would have thought here, right at that person, but uh, it does seem like it missed the person. I don't know whether it judged that or not, and it's going to self-park. Please subscribe to my channel, and there's other Tesla videos if you'd like to see them. Take care.